I would now like to introduce Dr. Karstens Karstonis, one of our Elevate Med mentors. He is going to welcome our 2024 Elevate Med Scholar speaker who came in with such a big smile and such a big personality. Please welcome him to the stage. All right, I like the song. That's good, good, good walk-up music. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. I hope you can tell by my delivery that I'm not auctioning anything. <laughs> I'm a family physician, um, and I work at the University of Arizona College of Medicine, Phoenix. <laughs> and I run our rural program, which seeks to bring health equity to every corner, corner of Arizona. Um, and I also work in correctional health and uh, see patients in a leprosy clinic. But enough about myself, uh, really I'm here to introduce a really uh, spectacular individual I had the honor of working with and who is our uh, keynote speaker tonight, Dr. Marcus Childs. Um, I've known Marcus for five years now. Uh, he was, uh, I, and I got to be his Elevate Med uh, mentor. He's a genuine advocate for anyone trying to get, get by in the face of steep barriers. Um, Marcus himself grew up in a tough neighborhood in Phoenix. Um, the local schools were under-resourced. The family finances were extremely tight. Yet Marcus was the first in his family to complete college. He went on to medical school at the University of Arizona College of Medicine, Phoenix. At each step, Marcus never forgot about lifting up others around him. Med school by itself is a full-time effort, but for Marcus, it was also an opportunity to be involved in advocacy in new ways. He knows that his life experience and his perspective on things like uh, bring something special to wherever, wherever he can contribute. That includes the selection committee for a new medical school dean, it includes uh, advocating for LGBTQ uh, community at a local community health center where he served on the board. These are just a couple of the dozens of extra activities Marcus was up to during medical school. I don't know how you did it. Um, anyway, anyway, as I said earlier, Marcus was my mentee, but I don't think Marcus realizes how much the mentorship went both ways. Marcus, by his actions, reminded me that no matter how busy or preoccupied, I can always contribute to the community. I can always help people who need a leg up. I can always do my, I always do my best work when I'm advocating on behalf of others. So Marcus, thank you for that. Um, I also want to admit a secret agenda, and that is to recruit you back to our medical school after you finish your family medicine residency at UC Davis. You know, I want us to be able to continue uh, to benefit from your energy, uh, from your life experience, from your wisdom, and work with Elevate Med to narrow the disparities that exist all around us. So everybody, please welcome our keynote speaker, Dr. Marcus Childs. How are we all doing? Doing good? All right, so before I get started, I have a lot to say, and I always have a lot to say. But before I do, I just want to invite everyone to take a second. What's happening in China is really, really special. So I just want to invite everyone to just live in the moment, be in the moment, look around. There's a lot of excellence in this room, and it's very easy after tonight to just go home and live our lives and get back to work and do what we're doing. But let's just take a second, look around. I appreciate it. Dope this crowd is. <laughs> All right, everybody. My name is 
doctor. Marcus Childs. <laughs> and I am a family medicine physician, thanks in part to Elevate Med and many of the supporters here tonight, which is in all honesty, super wild to be able to say. I remember each and every year coming to the summit and each year meant something different. My first year, I just passed my boards. I was like, okay, like this is after getting over a lot of moments of insecurity and doubt. Second year, I showed up wondering, am I gonna get into residency? Am I gonna match? Am I like, actually gonna be a doctor? Is this real? There's a lot of moments of self-doubt on this journey to becoming a physician. But now, now it is my third year here, not just as a scholar, but as Dr. Marcus Childs, M-D-M-P-H. <laughs> I finally did it. And I'm gonna share a little bit of my story with you all tonight on what that path looked like and how Elevate Med made such a profound impact on it. I was not a typical medical student. I did not have an easy path to medical school. I came from a low socioeconomic background. I grew up in red line neighborhoods. I've lived on food stamps. I've gone without healthcare a lot. And growing up, life was a constant reminder of how different I was compared to the people around me. And sometimes it hurt. It was frustrating to see kids my age getting access to things that I couldn't simply because of cost and privilege, things like healthcare. That harsh reality breathed life into a fire that would burn in me for the rest of my life. I felt spiteful. So I made my mind up to make a change and that become, meant becoming a physician who would provide care regardless of privilege. That was my beginning of my medical journey, not medical school. I'm the first in my family to go to university, let alone medical school, and that comes with a lot of hurdles and struggles that feel impossible without a support system. I'm talking about this with you all, not because I want pity or because I want praise, because I want to get very clear that this path is not only difficult, but it is long and complex for people it was never made for. Many of us here know it is more than just learning information from a book, memorizing a medication, when to give it, how to give it, blah, blah, blah. There's a hidden curriculum in the culture of medicine. For me, it was how to break into a system that valued numbers over someone's purpose, how to survive a system that will always take, and always take, and always take, will tout my success, but rarely support me when I need it most. Who to talk to, what to do, how to do it, all, way maintain, all while maintaining my peace and not losing sight of who I am. It's learning how to navigate through a system that is not tailored to many of us, learning what is often unsaid yet still true, and despite that, still rising to the top. I knew my family would always support me, but I needed guidance from people like me who have been through it. I needed a village. And that is when I found Elevate Med. I'm gonna share a story with you all that I haven't really told anyone. I wanna express a little bit of vulnerability and I feel like this is a safe space, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. After my second year of medical school, I was really contemplating if this was the right career for me. I felt lost, I felt defeated, because I had just found out that I'd failed my first board exam. And to me, it was a death knell. Am I good enough? Am I right for this job? Everyone else is passing. Why can't I? Am I smart enough to care for my patients? Maybe they deserve somebody else. Maybe I'm not the right doctor for them. Maybe I care enough, but am I good enough? Like These were the questions that were constantly going through my mind. And for the first time on this long, long journey, I thought, maybe this is where I stop. Maybe this is where I quit. And there's no taste more better than giving up on a dream. I felt isolated, I felt uncertain, I was scared. My flame had started to waver for what felt like the first time. At this point, I had reached out to some deans at my school and I asked about the process with withdrawing from medical school. I did not see any other options moving forward. I had forgotten my power. And then Elevate Med and Dr. Porter walked into my life. I remember getting that email just a few weeks after finding out that I had failed that exam. And reading the words on that email changed my future. That email said, I see you. I see the kind of doctor you want to be. I see the change you want to make. You are needed, you are valued, and we need more of the type of physician you will become. Elevate Med believed in me when I could not believe in myself. It gave me back my power and reminded me who the hell I am. I'm Marcus Childs and I can do anything. Woo! 
And so I pushed, and I pushed, and I fought, and I won. And just a few weeks after finding out that I had passed that board exam, I came to my first explosion of a dream event. It was the weekend of September 2022, where I was so, so glad I did not give up. I was surrounded by people like me, who come from places like me, who care about the same issues I do, who fight to make the same changes in their communities every single day. For the first time in medicine, I did not feel alone. And that was such a powerful, powerful feeling. I never would have experienced that without this program. This scholarship program is truly like no other. What Dr. Porter is doing, no one else is doing. It is a monolith of diversity, power, education, and advocacy. To become a physician, it takes a village, and I found my village. And look at me now, Dr. Marcus Childs, a whole ass doctor. <laughs> And now I'm privileged enough to be training at a very highly ranked residency program, not just in my specialty, but also in diversity, providing health care to underserved communities at federally, called health, federally qualified health centers, which is my passion, but also advocating for my patients and actively making positive change in their health care every single day. I am living my dream, and Elevate's involve, Elevate Med's involvement in that is no coincidence in making that happen. As Elevate Med scholars, we're a new generation of diverse, empathetic physicians. We will be leading the pack in patient-centered care. A table many of us fought relentlessly to have a seat at. I see you. Us. I could be more proud to call myself an Elevate Med Scholar. This program is blazing trails and setting an example for others across the country. This program gives students like me a chance. Without, without Elevate Med, I very well might not be here talking to you all right now. So imagine how many others like me right now, alone, struggling to find their people and make exceptional change in this world. And they could be lost without places like Elevate Med. So know this, every time you support this scholarship, you are making a direct, meaningful change. You are telling another physician, I see you, you matter, we need you. You are enabling a generation of physicians to positively impact their communities directly. You are all doing that by supporting the scholarship. So thank you for believing in me. Thank you for believing in us. And thank you for igniting this explosion of a dream. Thank, thank you, Dr. Marcus Childs. Round of applause.